In just a few years, sand has grown to become a major player in the postal delivery market. Twice a week, thousands of enthusiastic mail deliverers cover delivery areas all across the Netherlands. Together, they deliver hundreds of millions of pieces of mail each year. It's a wide variety of business mail, such as invoices, policy documents, and bank statements, alongside magazines and direct mail. There are also over a thousand employees working at SAND locations across the country and at SAND headquarters. All of these people play an important role in the delivery process, with the aim of delivering the mail on time and to the right address. Mail delivery is for everyone, whether you're a student, like Brian, retired, like Hank, or a mother, like Saskia. In this instruction video, we will demonstrate what mail delivery at SAND is all about. We've divided the story into six chapters. Receiving the mail is the first step. Every Monday and Thursday, the driver brings the mail to your home. Hank is always at home to receive the mail in person. But as Brian is studying at college, his mother, who is always at home on Mondays and Thursdays, is able to receive the mail on his behalf. However, if no one is at home on Mondays and Thursdays, you can arrange for the driver to leave the mail for you in a designated place. This place should be secure and dry, inaccessible to others, and must be locked with a key. Before you can start deliveries, you'll need to sort the mail. In the crates, you'll find all the mail for your area. You should sort the mail according to your own delivery route. First, sort all of the mail from the crates by street name. As many streets are even numbered on one side and odd numbered on the other, it is easiest to create two piles, one for the odd numbers and one for the even. In this case, you'll deliver on one side first, then walk back to deliver on the other. Therefore, sort the even numbers into ascending order and the odd numbers into descending order. Put the two piles back to back so you can begin delivering straight away. In some cases, all the houses are on one side of the street and the numbering is sequential. In that case, you don't have to create two piles for even and odd numbers. Simply sort them into numerical order. If you have multiple pieces of mail for one address, put the largest piece at the back to make it easier to handle during delivery. Finally, secure each bundle with an elastic band to prevent the mail getting mixed up in your bag. Should you come across a street name that you don't recognize, check if your area code is part of the SAND code. All the items in your area have the same area code, but occasionally you may end up with a piece of mail that does not belong to your area due to an error at the sorting facility. This is called a sorting error. Put this piece aside and do not take it with you during your deliveries. You deliver the mail every Tuesday and Friday. Between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m., you are responsible for delivering the mail in your area. You may start at whichever time suits you as long as you complete deliveries before 6 p.m. Here are some situations you might come across. Hank begins early in the morning because he wants to play cards with friends in the afternoon. Saskia drops her daughter off at school first and then starts her deliveries. Brian attends class in the morning and delivers the mail afterwards, so he'll be done in time for his soccer practice. Sometimes you'll find several mailboxes all together. But in other situations, you'll have to deliver to each apartment. Or you may have to walk up a path or a driveway to get to the mailbox. But usually, you can simply deliver door to door. In many shops, the mail would fall onto the doormat, which of course shouldn't happen during the day. Therefore, you should go in and hand over the mail to an employee. In places like this retirement home, you should leave the mail at the reception desk. 
Our customers trust us with their mail. That means we must look after it at all times. While delivering, you should never leave your bike unattended. So take your bike with you into each street and keep it in sight whilst you are delivering the mail. Take care to put everything in the right order during sorting, or you could lose a lot of time if you need to go back over your route. Now, Brian is running late for his soccer practice. Sometimes you may find you cannot deliver a piece of mail. You must return these items to sand. We call these returns. Saskia has a letter for number 24, but the mailbox is completely full. Don't try to squeeze it in, just return it to sand. Place a return sticker next to the address and mark the correct reason. Then put it back into your bag. Or Hank, who is looking for number 16, an address that doesn't exist as the street numbers stop at 15. Obviously, you cannot deliver this piece, so place the return sticker next to the address and mark the correct reason. Brian has a different situation. He has a letter for number three without a suffix, but the only addresses he sees are 3A, 3B, or 3 Red. Because we only deliver by address and not by name, this letter has to be returned as well. Again, in this case, put a return sticker next to the address and mark the correct reason. After finishing your deliveries, you put all the mail with sorting errors and return stickers back into the crate. Only put return stickers on the returns and never on the sorting errors, as these will be re-delivered to the correct area. Remove the crate numbers from the crates and bundle them together with the pieces to be returned. Place the crate numbers on the top of the bundle and put them in the top crate. The driver will take these away with him next time. When you have completed the mail delivery, always report back to your contact person. You do so with an email in which you state your name and area code and indicate how many sorting error pieces and returns we can expect and the amount of crates you have at home. If you are unable to send an email, give your contact person a call. And naturally, treat the mail confidentially. For the benefit of all our customers, we value quality above all. And as you've seen, you have an important role to play. Therefore, go out well prepared and check that all the mail has been delivered. Ensure that you deliver the mail on time between 8 p.m. and 6 p.m. on Tuesday and Friday, and that you deliver the mail correctly and don't leave it sticking out of the mailbox. Help us improve the quality of our service by handling sorting errors and returns correctly. And naturally, treat the mail confidentially. Mail delivery is responsible and fun because people are waiting for their mail and you are the face of sand. So go the extra mile.